The Malaysian Airlines flight MH370 disappeared. The flight had 239 passengers on board. There have been many theories and questions raised regarding the mystery of the missing flight. After nearly 10 years of searching, we have finally uncovered the truth behind the disappearance of Malaysia Airlines flight MH370. New findings challenge everything we thought we knew about that fateful night. We've been waiting for this. But what dark secrets could these revelations uncover? Do you want to know what shocking truths are behind this aviation tragedy? The timeline of events and disappearance. On March 8, 2014, Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 took off from Kuala Lumpur International Airport. It was bound for Beijing, carrying 239 people on board, including passengers and crew. The flight was supposed to be a routine journey, just like many others before it. The captain, Zahari Ahmad Shah, was an experienced pilot with over 18,000 flight hours. His first officer, Farik Abdul Hamid, also had considerable experience, with around 2,700 flight hours. Both men were familiar with the route, making the flight seem normal. After a smooth takeoff, Everything appeared to be on track. The crew communicated with air traffic control without any issues. But then came the final words from Captain Zahari. Good night, Malaysian 370. This message was sent as the plane entered Vietnamese airspace. Who knew that these would be the last confirmed words from the cockpit? What happened next was shocking and disturbing. Just moments after that final communication, something strange happened. The plane's car system was turned off to communicate with ground control. At the same time, the transponder, which helps radar systems track the plane, was also switched off. This made flight MH370 invisible to air traffic control. Imagine a plane just disappearing from the radar. How could that happen? As the plane disappeared from radar, it deviated from its planned flight path. Instead of heading northeast towards Beijing, it turned west. This unexpected turn took it back across the Malay Peninsula and over the Andaman Sea. Why would the pilots change course like that? There was no explanation, and the mystery deepened. With every passing minute, concern grew among those waiting for the flight in Beijing. Air traffic controllers soon realized that something was wrong. They believed the plane had safely crossed into Vietnamese airspace, but confusion set in when there was no communication. Where was MH370? It was as if the plane had simply vanished into thin air. This was not just a missing flight, but a growing mystery that would capture the world. Could the plane have encountered trouble? Eyewitness reports began to trickle in. Fishermen claimed they saw a plane flying unusually low over the water. An oil rig worker even reported seeing a plane on fire in the distance. However, these reports did not lead to any concrete answers. Each lead only added to the confusion and urgency of the following search efforts. The Malaysian government quickly launched a search operation, initially focusing on the South China Sea, where the plane was last tracked on radar. But after several days, no sign of the aircraft was found, prompting officials to expand the search area. But where to look? The vast ocean is unpredictable, and every hour lost added to the growing panic. The search expanded further as the days turned into weeks, eventually shifting focus to the southern Indian Ocean. This decision was based on satellite data that suggested the plane had continued flying for several hours after losing contact. But searching the Indian Ocean was no easy task. It is one of the most desolate areas on Earth, filled with deep waters and shifting currents. The challenges of finding a small piece of wreckage in such a vast area were enormous. So, what happened to Malaysia Airlines Flight MH 370. How could a plane carrying so many people just disappear? As we explore this mystery further, the questions multiply. This is just the beginning of a surprising story filled with twists, confusion, and unanswered questions.
Stay tuned because the mystery of MH370 does not end here. As we uncover the initial search efforts and the chaos that followed, we will reveal some untold secrets about how this tragedy happened. Want to know the secrets the ocean holds? Initial search efforts and confusion. As soon as Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 vanished from radar, confusion swept through the air traffic control tower in Kuala Lumpur. At first, the controllers thought the plane had safely entered Vietnamese airspace and believed everything was fine. But then something strange happened. There was no communication from the pilots. The silence raised alarms, and they thought there was a communication error. The lack of communication led to a frantic search for answers. Air traffic controllers began trying to reach the plane, but their calls went unanswered. In those critical moments, worry turned into panic. They quickly realized that something was very wrong. Flight MH370 was missing, and no one knew where it had gone. While the search team scrambled to find out what had happened, some eyewitness reports started coming in. Fishermen in the area reported seeing a plane flying unusually low over the water. One oil rig worker even saw a plane on fire in the sky. These reports created a sense of hope that the plane might still be nearby. But as investigators looked deeper, these sightings had no solid clues. Each new piece of information seemed to lead to more questions than answers. What had happened up there? With no clear leads, the authorities launched a massive search operation in the South China Sea. They focused on the Gulf of Thailand, the plane's last known location. Ships, airplanes, and helicopters scoured the waters for any signs of wreckage. Search teams worked around the clock, driven by hope and determination. But after days of searching, they found nothing. It was as if the ocean had swallowed the plane whole. As time passed, the search efforts in the South China Sea became empty. Frustration grew among officials and passengers' families. How could a plane disappear without a trace? This was not just a flight lost. It was a mystery that seemed impossible to solve. In light of these disappointing results, the search area began to expand. Eventually, attention shifted to the southern Indian Ocean. This change was based on satellite data that hinted the plane may have continued flying for hours after its last contact. This information came from Inmarsat, a British satellite company. They had tracked signals from the aircraft, suggesting it was still airborne long after it vanished from radar. How could a plane fly for so long without anyone knowing its location? The mystery deepened. The southern Indian Ocean is vast and remote, making it one of the most challenging places to search. The ocean temperature and shifting currents pose significant obstacles for search teams. With no sign of the plane, hope began to fade. But the search must go on. Every day without answers was filled with worry and uncertainty for the families waiting for news. What if the plane was out there, just waiting to be found? What if there were still clues hidden in the ocean? As the search efforts continued, teams relied on every bit of technology available. Ships equipped with sonar and underwater drones scoured the ocean floor. They were determined to find anything that could lead them to Flight MH370. The journey to find the plane was filled with frustration and heartache. But with each passing day, the search grew more complicated. Each new piece of information led to fresh hopes, but ended in disappointment. It became clear that this was not just a simple missing plane case. It was a deep mystery that would challenge investigators for years to come. Stay with us as we are about to uncover the satellite data that guided the search. What did Inmarsat's signals reveal about the plane's last moments? Could this data shed light on the final destination of Flight MH370? Your answers are just here. Inmarsat data and flight path analysis. As the search for Malaysia Airlines Flight MH370 continued, a crucial player emerged, Inmarsat, a British satellite company. 
After the plane vanished from traditional radar, Inmarsat stepped in to help. The satellite continued receiving faint signals from the plane for seven hours after it went dark, a lifeline for investigators. But what did these signals mean? These signals provided vital information about the plane. Experts used the burst timing offset BTO analysis to understand this. This analysis allowed them to estimate how far the aircraft was from the satellite at different times. It was like piecing together a puzzle, revealing two possible flight paths for the missing plane. One path pointed north toward Central Asia, while the other suggested it headed south into the Indian Ocean. But which path was correct? The northern route seemed promising at first. However, investigators quickly ruled it out. Military radars in Thailand and India would have detected the plane if it had gone that way. This left the southern route as the only viable option. But heading south into the Indian Ocean posed its challenges. The Indian Ocean is vast and mostly empty, making it one of the most challenging places to search. What lay beneath its surface? As search teams focused on the southern route, they faced immense difficulties. The Indian Ocean is not just vast, it's deep and full of shifting currents. These factors made searching for wreckage incredibly complicated. Imagine looking for a needle in a haystack, but the haystack is in the middle of a stormy sea. How could teams hope to find anything in such conditions? Despite these challenges, the search teams were determined. They used advanced technology, including sonar and underwater drones, to scan the ocean floor. Each day brought new hope but also new frustrations. What if they missed something? Would they ever find the plane? The stakes were high, not just for the search teams, but also for the families of those on board. They were waiting for answers, and every hour felt like a lifetime. The satellite data began to paint a clearer picture as the search continued. The signals suggested that the plane had flown for several hours after its last contact. This was both alarming and puzzling. Why had it flown for so long? Did the pilots have control or was something else at play? Each new piece of information only deepened the mystery surrounding Flight MH370. Searching the Indian Ocean required not just technology, but also immense courage and resilience. Search teams faced rough seas and unpredictable weather, often battling strong winds and high waves. They had to keep pushing forward, hoping that luck would be on their side. But with so much water to cover, it felt like finding a ghost. Despite the setbacks, the hope of finding wreckage kept the search alive. Every small piece of debris found could lead them closer to solving this mystery. However, the ocean is unpredictable and currents can carry objects far from their original location. This made it even harder to pinpoint the crash site. What secrets were buried underwater? Debris discovery and analysis. And finally, the search for Malaysia Airlines. Flight MH370 took a significant turn on July 29, 2015. A flaperon, part of a plane's wing, was discovered washed ashore on Reunion Island in the Indian Ocean. This was the first confirmed piece of debris from MH370. It provided some much-needed closure for families and investigators, suggesting that the plane likely crashed in the Indian Ocean. But there is something more that this piece of wreckage told us about the flight's final moments. Following the discovery of the flaperon, additional debris began to surface in various locations. In the months and years that followed, pieces were found on beaches in Mozambique, Tanzania, and Madagascar. Each new piece raised hope and excitement, but also brought more questions. Investigators confirmed that several of these pieces were indeed from MH370. However, many questions remained. How did these parts end up scattered across such vast areas? Experts carefully studied the debris to learn more about what had happened. They discovered that the damage on the flaperon indicated the plane likely did not have a controlled water landing. Instead, 
It seemed to have crashed violently into the ocean. This finding raised new speculation about the circumstances of the crash. Did the plane suffer a mechanical failure or was something more sinister? As investigators went deeper into the debris analysis, they faced another significant debate. Did the plane break up in midair or did it crash into the water? Some pieces showed signs of a high-speed impact, suggesting the plane hit the ocean with tremendous force. This would mean the passengers and crew may not have had time to react. However, others argued that the plane might have disintegrated in the air before reaching the surface. This uncertainty left many baffled and searching for answers. Each new finding created a mix of hope and frustration. For families of those on board, every piece of wreckage was a bittersweet reminder of their loved ones. They wanted answers, but the mystery seemed to deepen with each discovery. Investigators faced the task of piecing together a timeline from the wreckage, and the clues were unclear. Debris has something more to tell us about the flight's final moments. The analysis indicated that the aircraft faced extreme conditions before its crash. Experts noted that the absence of a controlled landing suggested a sudden loss of control. But why? Were there technical issues or was human error involved? These questions lingered in the minds of everyone following the story. As the search continued, Investigators also examined the debris that washed ashore. Each piece was a potential clue. For example, a piece found in Mozambique showed similar damage to the flaperon. This further confirmed that the aircraft likely met a tragic end in the ocean. But how could something so significant happen without a clear explanation? As we move on, we will dive deeper into the lives of the pilots and crew. Captain Zahari Ahmad Shahs, Shah Hassan, plotting a mysterious route on his flight simulator, raises intriguing questions about his motivations. First Officer Farik Abdul Hamid may also have crucial insights into the events leading up to the flight's accuracy. These elements are not just about the flight itself, but about the human stories behind this tragedy. Secrets lie beneath the surface of this aviation mystery, waiting to be uncovered investigations into the pilots and crew. As the investigation into Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 proceeded, all eyes turned to Captain Zahari Ahmad Shah. He was an experienced pilot with over 18,000 flight hours, but his life came under intense scrutiny after the plane disappeared. Investigators dug into his personal life, searching for answers they discovered that Zahari had a flight simulator at home. This raised eyebrows when it was found that he had plotted a route on that simulator similar to MH370's final trajectory. Was this a mere coincidence or was there something fishy? The revelation about the simulator led to speculation about Zahari's Zaharijans. Some theorized that he might have intentionally downed the plane. Investigators looked closely at his circumstances. Zahari was going through a tough time in his marriage, which added to the intrigue. They also examined his political connections, as Zahari had expressed strong views on various issues. Was he troubled enough to take such drastic action? The theories surrounding his intentions only fueled the mystery of the missing plane. While Zahari was in the spotlight, First Officer Farik Abdul Hamid also caught the attention of investigators. Farik was younger and had around 2,700 flight hours under his belt. He had a promising career ahead of him, and many saw him as a dedicated professional. However, during the flight, Farik attempted to make a phone call. This was unusual because it was brief and did not connect. Why did he try to call? What was happening in the cockpit during those final moments? This brief attempt at communication left investigators with more questions than answers. Authorities also looked into the passengers and other crew members. They wanted to see any suspicious behaviors or ties to terrorism. It was a thorough process, but investigators found no credible links to terrorism. This was a relief, but it also left many puzzled. If there was no threat, 
then what happened to the flight? Another pressing question was why no passengers or crew members used their phones to send distress messages. Many passengers were from technologically connected countries where smartphones were common. In an emergency, one would expect someone to try to communicate. But despite the chaos, no messages were sent, raising eyebrows. What kept them from reaching out? Was there too much confusion in the cockpit? Did the pilots lose control too quickly for anyone to react? The focus on Zahari and Farik intensified as investigators sifted through the details. The mystery of the flight was not just about the disappearance. It was also about understanding the human elements involved. Who were these men? And what were their lives like before this tragedy? Investigators found that Zahari was passionate about flying and often shared his love for aviation on social media. His posts portrayed a picture of a man who enjoyed life, yet the pressures he faced behind closed doors remained unknown. Farik, on the other hand, had a bright future ahead. He was known for his skills and dedication. Colleagues described him as focused and hardworking. But what could have happened in the cockpit during those crucial moments? Were they both under stress, or was there something else at play? The questions continued to pile up, adding to the intrigue. As the investigation progressed, the findings about Zahari Zahari's tour usage and Farik's Farik call raised eyebrows. Could they hold the key to what happened on that fateful night? Each revelation seemed to point in different directions. The tension mounted as investigators worked to uncover the truth. But with so many theories, how could they determine what happened? This tragic event brought immense heartbreak, not just to the families of those on board, but to the world. The questions surrounding the pilots and the crew fueled speculation. Did they fight for control of the plane? Or was there a larger force at play? As we delve deeper into the aftermath of this mystery, we will explore how these revelations impacted the families waiting for answers and the broader investigation itself. Conspiracy Theories and Speculation As the mystery of Malaysia Airlines Flight MH370 deepened, various conspiracy theories began to circulate. One of the earliest theories was that the plane had been hijacked. This speculation gained traction when it was revealed that two passengers had boarded using stolen passports. Many wondered if this was a sign of foul play. However, investigations later confirmed that these individuals were asylum seekers from Iran, not terrorists. This revelation put a damper on the hijacking theory, but did not stop the speculation flow. Another wild theory emerged suggesting that Russian agents had hijacked the plane and diverted it to Kazakhstan. According to this theory, the act was meant to distract the world from the crisis in Crimea unfolding simultaneously. This idea captured the imagination of many and fueled numerous online discussions. However, experts found this theory highly improbable. There was no solid evidence to support the claim and it seemed more like a plot from a movie than a real possibility. Yet, the thought of Russian involvement kept the conspiracy alive in public discussions. As investigations continued, another theory took shape, that MH370 may have accidentally strayed into restricted military airspace and was shot down. Some speculated that this could explain why no wreckage was found for so long. If the plane had been shot down, it might have gone down quickly and been lost in the vast ocean. However, like many other theories, this one lacked strong evidence. Military officials denied that any military action had occurred in that area. But the idea lingered, fueled by the uncertainty surrounding the plane's appearance. Then came the more fantastical theories, like those involving UFOs and alien abduction. Can you imagine that? A viral Reddit video showed glowing orbs circling a plane, which sparked wild speculation about extraterrestrial involvement. Many people found this theory entertaining, while others took it very seriously. Could aliens have taken the plane? While this idea is widely considered a conspiracy theory, 
it highlights how far the public's representation can stretch in the face of mystery. People were grasping at straws, trying to make sense of the unexplainable. The variety of theories around MH370 reveals a lot about human nature. When faced with a mystery, people want answers, even if those answers seem far-fetched. Each theory brought a sense of excitement and intrigue, but they also contributed to the confusion surrounding the incident. What happened to the flight? The more questions that arose, the more people speculated. While these theories may seem shocking, they show how deeply the disappearance of MH370 affected people. Families were desperate for answers, and the lack of information fueled speculation. No matter how wild or unnatural, every theory kept hope alive for those searching for the truth. They wanted to believe that someone, somewhere, might still know what happened. As we reflect on these conspiracy theories, we should consider how they impacted the investigation. While some theories were quickly dismissed, others kept the conversation alive. They drew attention to the case, ensuring it did not fade from public memory. Yet, they also complicated the search for truth. Investigators had to sift through a mountain of claims and counterclaims, making it even harder to focus on credible leads. With so many theories circulating, one has to wonder, will we ever get to the bottom of what happened to Flight MH370? We will examine the ongoing search efforts and any new developments as we continue exploring this complex case. What have investigators learned since the initial theories took hold? Are there any new leads that could finally bring closure to this haunting mystery? The ongoing search efforts and new developments. After the official search for Malaysia Airlines, flight MH370 was called off in 2017, many felt a sense of loss. But the hope for answers didn't completely fade away. In early 2018, a private company called Ocean Infinity stepped in to resume the search. They brought advanced technology designed to explore the deep ocean, including underwater drones and advanced sonar equipment. Ocean Infinity aimed to cover new areas that had not been explored during the official search. The company worked tirelessly, scanning vast stretches of the Indian Ocean. They searched over 112,000 square kilometers, focusing on areas based on the latest analysis. Despite their efforts, no significant new findings were reported. This was disappointing for families and supporters who had hoped for more discoveries. How could a plane that vanished into the ocean remain so elusive? The question hung heavily in the air. In addition to ocean infinity, new satellite data continued to emerge. This data was crucial in predicting where additional debris might wash ashore. Scientists used drift models to estimate how ocean currents could have carried pieces of the aircraft. They analyzed where pieces of debris found in places like Madagascar and Mozambique might have originated. Each new model provided a glimmer of hope, suggesting that more wreckage could still be out there waiting to be discovered. With each passing year, researchers and families held on to the possibility of finding the wreckage. The hope was that one day, perhaps through advanced underwater searches or new technology, the main wreckage of MH370 might be found. Each new piece of data or drift model could lead to breakthroughs. Families of the passengers clung to the belief that answers might still come, no matter how long it took. But how long could they wait for closure? The ongoing search efforts showcased a commitment to uncovering the truth at every cost. However, the vastness of the Indian Ocean posed a major challenge. This region is deep and filled with unpredictable currents and weather patterns. The ocean's depth can reach over 6,000 meters in some areas, making it one of the most difficult places to search. Despite these challenges, teams remained hopeful. Every piece of technology used brought them closer to finding MH370. As time went on, the search teams continued to face setbacks. 
There were no new leads, and the vast ocean felt more daunting than ever. Yet, the possibility of finding debris kept their spirits alive. Each time debris washed ashore, it reignited interest in the case. Would there be another breakthrough? Could future search efforts finally lead to the wreckage? As the world waited, investigators continued to analyze existing data and reports. They looked into every lead, no matter how small, to see if it could help solve the mystery. The commitment to find answers was unwavering. Investigators and search teams were determined to discover what happened to the flight and why it had gone down. But would the truth ever be uncovered? Families of those on board remained hopeful. They continued advocating for more searches and resources dedicated to finding the wreckage. Many expressed their frustration over the limited funding and support for ongoing efforts. They believed that with enough determination, the plane could still be found. They just needed someone to listen and help them find answers. The search for MH370 is not just about finding a plane, but also about finding closure for the families. They have endured years of uncertainty and pain. Every new development, every piece of information is a step towards understanding what happened. And while the search has been long and challenging, the determination to uncover the truth remains strong. As we look to the future, the question remains, will the wreckage of MH370 ever be found? What new technologies might aid in this ongoing quest? As the world watches and waits, we will follow this story closely. There are still so many unknowns, and with every passing day, the mystery grows. Who knows what lies ahead for the search efforts? New discoveries may emerge. The ongoing search for Flight MH370 keeps hope alive for all those still seeking answers. Final Reflections and Unanswered Questions The Disappearance of Malaysia Airlines Flight MH370 remains one of the most captivating aviation mysteries in history. The story has intrigued people worldwide since it vanished on March 8, 2014. This fascination stems from tragedy, unanswered questions, and conspiracy theories that have developed over the years. Families lost loved ones, and the world watched as search efforts unfolded, but no clear answers emerged. It is like this mystery that has captured our attention for so long. One reason is the sheer scale of the event. Flight MH370 was carrying 239 people, and when it disappeared, it left families in turmoil. The uncertainty of what happened that night is heartbreaking. People want to know the truth, and the more time passes, the more complicated it seems. The mix of emotional stories and the vast ocean where the plane is believed to have gone down adds to the mystery. Each new piece of information or speculation reignites public interest, making it hard to forget about the flight. Another factor is the many unanswered questions that still linger. What exactly happened in the cockpit during those final moments? Why did the plane divert from its intended course? Investigators have proposed various theories, but no one knows for sure. Could there still be clues waiting to be discovered beneath the waves? The possibilities keep people wondering. Each unanswered question opens the door to new theories and discussions. How can something so significant simply disappear without a trace? As we reflect on this mystery, it's essential to consider the future of the investigation. There is still hope that new technological advancements will aid in the search for wreckage. Search teams are better equipped with improvements in satellite technology, sonar equipment, and underwater drones. These tools could lead to discoveries and answers that have eluded investigators for years. Each new technology has the potential to change the game. Researchers and search teams are determined to keep looking. They continue to analyze existing data and explore new leads. There is a sense of urgency because families are still waiting for closure. They want to know what happened to their loved ones. 
Will future investigations lead to significant breakthroughs? Or will the mystery remain unsolved, leaving us with more questions than answers? The disappearance of MH370 is more than just a story about a missing plane. It is a story about human lives, emotions, and the quest for truth. The enduring nature of this mystery serves as a reminder of how fragile life can be and how important it is to seek answers. While the ocean may seem vast and impenetrable, the search for truth continues. Each piece of wreckage found can provide critical information about what happened. It can bring the world one step closer to understanding the fate of Flight MH370. Ultimately, the mystery of Malaysia Airlines. Flight MH370 remains a powerful incident of loss, hope, and the human spirit. Each person on that flight had a story, a family, and dreams. Their memory fuels the search for answers. So, as we monitor future investigations, we must hope that one day we will uncover the truth about what happened to Flight MH370. The world will finally get the answers it deserves. As we close this chapter, we are hopeful and ready to follow the next twist in this ongoing mystery. What do you think happened to Malaysia Airlines Flight MH370? Do you believe it was a hijacking, mechanical failure, or something else? Share your theories in the comments below. If you found this exploration interesting, please like this video and subscribe for more updates on this mystery and other captivating aviation stories.